Hi Cherry, this is Steve from Fisher Rogers Used Cars and I'll just do a bit of a walk around video of the little Barina Spark. I'll try and keep it quick because it just makes it a bit easier to upload it um, and get the best quality out of it we can. Um, as I was saying to you on the phone, just behind the, the plastic hubcaps, the steel rims have got a little bit of you know, rust from the very thin coat of paint they get from the factory. Um, I can sort of sort that out for you and, uh, and make them look a little bit better um, pulling the hubcaps off and, and just repainting those sort of black rims um, body wise um, the car's excellent you know as I said to you I've just given it a bit of a wash so there's a few drips of water and things all the mirrors nothing's been sort of scuffed um, the worst parts are you know very 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 minor sort of stone chipping which you can sort of see you know maybe I'm trying to point out some of the, the little chips there which you can see on the car and just up the, uh, the bottom of the bumper bar that I sort of mentioned as well um, just yeah that sort of minor um, chipping along that bottom edge of the bar um, there's obviously no scuffs anywhere um, even down low on the bumper is, is really good that little funny shaped plastic panel, I actually thought that had been damaged, but that's actually how they're moulded. And uh, if we go around the other side, you can see here, yeah, it's uh, it's exactly the same on both sides. Um, all the tyres, let's assume we've got Kumo tyres all around, they're all still really, really good. So I'd say probably the second set of tyres the car's had. Um, you know, this mirror is unmarked, um, the original. A GM windscreen still in the car um, you know down the doors if we can sort of look down the sides of it there there's no real dents or or anything the um, bottom sill section of the car which quite often gets dented on these little cars is, is really really good um, the Juco looks to have it looks to have all its original paint on the car um, I believe nothing's been repainted all the gaps Everything sort of lines up beautifully with the, the bumper bar and the guard, nothing's sort of hanging out. Um, you know, you can see it all nice and clearly there. The top of the headlights there, you can just see that sort of um, jacket outline there. They have not been sort of UV deteriorated, but there is obviously some sort of little bit of deterioration on the top of those headlights, but they're all beautiful and crystal clear. Um, I would say the car has been garaged. Um, same thing on this side, you know, that bottom sill section is all in excellent condition. Um, a few little bits just from, you know, stuff that sort of kicks up off the wheels and what have you from normal driving. Um, a little chip just on that door there. But just sort of very, very minor, minor stuff. Um, that you'd expect, I suppose, on a basically sort of eight-year-old, nearly eight-year-old car. Um, it's got the original Patterson Cheney number plate frames where the car was purchased new. Um, you know, the back bumper bar is all still excellent. The paint is very shiny. Um, you know, looking down this side here, it's in all excellent condition. The roof, there's no, you know, dents or hail damage or any of that sort of stuff. Um, all the the belt moulding here on the windows is all still very, very good. Um, not weathered and sort of damaged from, from being out in the sun or the cold. Um, looking inside the car, get my finger out of the way. You can see my reflection in the window. <laughs> you know who I am. Um, get that dinging thing out of there. We've got both sets of keys for it, which is really good, both original Holden keys. As I mentioned, the steering wheel really has no wear. You know, the top of the dash is excellent. Um, all the seats are very, very good. You know, no wear on the bolsters, as I mentioned also. Um, and that kick panel there, as you enter the car, you know, no paint is worn off. The original floor mats, there's a tiny vacuum, sorry. Um, you know, the hood lining, is all perfect all the sun visors are all excellent and as new condition um, just open the back door 
in the back seat again the back of the seats are all in excellent condition um, all the headrests are there on that back seat all the carpet mats are still in it all the door trims um, power windows only in the front so you do have wind up windows in the back but the door trims are all excellent no one's sort of put anything too big and then tried to close the door or anything um, in the boot the little parcel shelf just put the key up there well the boot mat is excellent you know the, there's no damage on the, the rubber seal of the the boot mat or at the top of the roof lining here which sometimes I have seen and probably have a few cars in the yard that people have loaded larger things in and they've been all scraped down there so uh, underneath where the spare wheel goes I can find the thing to lift it up oh. yeah, these don't actually have a oh no they do have a spare wheel sorry there are all your tools jack and bits and pieces and then underneath is the wheel it is a space saver wheel um, it has never been removed from the car. You know, all the body deadener there is all original uh, factory finish. Not always done perfectly, but that's how they're produced. No stains on that boot mat. You know, nothing's been untidy in the back there. Um, on this side, same sort of thing. No damage from seat belts being caught in the doors at all. Everything is good. The door trim is excellent. No scuffs or really marks. A little bit of marking just on the top there. So maybe there was a, a small doggy or something that's scratched it a little bit. But it definitely is absolutely zero odour in the car or dog hair. To suggest there has been a dog in it. The door trim is all perfect on this side. Same thing down the bottom here, all excellent. One little mark just there, which I might just polish off. The uh, actual build plate of the car, June of 16. So it was obviously registered and complied in 2017. Uh, I'll just start the car up. Key in the ignition, 68,000, everything appears as it should. All the lights go out, the reflection on the phone, sorry, so all the lights go out there, apart from our handbrake and seatbelt warning. Um, all the buttons on the steering wheel, as I mentioned, nothing's worn, everything is all nice. Now, this little car, they, I think you might know more about them than me if you've had one, but um, no reverse camera. Uh, does have obviously all your Bluetooth and things like that if you want to listen to music and what have you. Um, through your phone, um, no Apple CarPlay, no Android Auto. Um, down here, your centre console. It's a small mark, a couple of small marks just on the top of that gear shifter there. But all this stuff is just really minor stuff. Um, all the books, manuals, service book, owner's manual, everything is there. I won't go through the service book again, you've seen those pictures that I've put up online. Um, I'll lift the bonnet up a bit so you can have a listen to the engine running. Here's the bonnet up, and your engine running, and nice and shiny, put eyes on me. Um, yeah, everything is as it is in the factory, looking down here, no, no oil leaks. No rocket cover gasket leaks. Um, it's all nice and quiet. They're a chain driven motor, so no timing belts that need changing. You can hear the engine just from the back from the exhaust pipe. You can find it. It's just on this side here. And even just looking underneath the car there, you know, there's no corrosion or, or anything to suggest that the car's you know, been by the beach or or anything like that, it's all just normal sort of road dirt um, and everything like that. Um, if there's anything else you need me to sort of, uh, you know, take video of or give it a little rev for you, and sort of have a look at the back. Um, 
All revs nice and freely, drives beautifully. Thanks again for contacting me. Bye.